Okay, for this video, I wanted to quickly cover a request uh, for a refund of FICA taxes. So FICA taxes are payroll taxes uh, withheld from your wages. And so in certain cases in the U.S., um, you might be exempt from FICA taxes. And so if you had them withheld from your paycheck, you can file a refund claim to get those back. So I've got one slide in front of us here with some of the rules um, and then an example uh, form 843, which is the filing that's required in order to get this refund. So uh, generally, if you are living and working in the U.S. Um, for a U.S.-based employer, your wages are going to be subject to federal payroll tax. Um, that is the baseline rule that applies to 99% of people that are living and working in the United States. Um, the payroll tax is assessed under the um, Federal Insurance Contributions Act. That's where we get FICA from. Um, and the tax rates um, as of the end of 2021 um, and going forward foreseeably here is going to be 6.2% um, of Social Security tax and then a 1.45% Medicare tax. Um, these are assessed on the employee wages and then the employer has to match it. Um, so it's basically these amounts times two in total, but you as the employer are responsible for half. So if we look at an example here, we've got John, he's an accountant for a company in Florida. He makes 40,000 a year, which is all gonna be subject to FICA. So John's employer has to take $2,480 of social security tax out of his paychecks throughout the year. Um, so that's 6.2% times 40, and then $580 in Medicare, right? So 1.45 times his 40K salary. Um, these amounts are deducted from his paychecks and reported on a Form W-2 at year end. Okay, so what are the exceptions? Well. Um, there are basically two big exceptions. One is for religious reasons, which I won't cover on this slide, but you can actually get an exemption from FICA um, if you are part of a religious group and want to opt out of the system. Um, the second one is the example we have in front of us, right? So certain types of non-residents that are in the U.S. on a temporary basis under certain types of visas might be exempt from FICA taxes. So student visas, um, F1s, M1s, J1s, where you are allowed to be in the U.S. for university, but you can also work at the same time in a limited capacity. If you're on one of those visas, you can earn a wage, but you're generally exempt from FICA. Um, Q1 visas, and then certain types of agricultural workers um, under an H2A that are temporarily in the U.S. can get those exemptions as well. So if you're working in the U.S. under one of these types of visas and you were exempt, uh, but your employer basically didn't know or just wasn't aware of the rules and it withheld tax on you anyway, you can get a refund by filing form uh, 843 with the IRS. Okay, so now the first issue is always um, once you catch the withholding uh, that's coming out of your paycheck that shouldn't be there, you're supposed to contact your employer first and get them to reimburse you or, or figure it out on their end because they'll have to adjust their uh, 941s and their 940. Um, but if there's been too much time that has passed, right? So if you left the employer and payroll taxes have already been filed and paid, then you should go through this procedure, which is filing the 843. Okay, so let's look at the 843 form. Um, so, if, well, actually, let's start with the W-2. So let's take, let's take an example here. Let's say we have Hans, who um, is uh, attending university in the U.S., and he's working there. And so this is the W-2 he received for 2020. Um, he earned $8,000 in wages throughout the year. There was $500 in federal income tax withheld. Um, and then you can see here, he also has Social Security tax and Medicare tax that were withheld from his wages. And these are the pieces that we're trying to get back, the 496 and the 116. So if he's got his W-2 in front of him, goes to prepare the 843. The form is relatively straightforward, right? You complete uh, the top section here with your name as the taxpayer. Um, your social security number or your ITIN, right? So you, you might likely have an ITIN instead of an SSN. If, if you have an ITIN, it's the same number format. You would enter that there. Uh, phone number uh, for contact information. And then the period is the tax year uh, that you had these taxes withheld. So this is his 2020 W-2. So we're just doing Jan 1, 2020 
to December 31, 2020. And then the amount to be refunded is $612, right? 612 is the 496 plus the 116. Okay, type of tax is employment tax. Um, in box three there, there's no penalties or interest for this kind of, a, this, this, this is going to be used for an abatement, right? So if you have, if you're looking to abate penalties or interest, you would complete these pieces, but that just doesn't apply here. Um, box six, original return, we are trying to request a refund um, uh, via our W-2 that was filed. Right, I mean, technically the payroll taxes are submitted on 941s and 940, um, but we're filing as an individual, not the employer. So it's more appropriate to just check the other box. You can check the other box here and enter form W-2 and that would be more appropriate. And then in the explanation, uh, just let the IRS know what happened, right? So the taxpayer uh, entered the US under an F-1 visa, employed by the university on a part-time basis. Under the terms of the visa, the taxpayer had permission to work in the U.S. and his wages were exempt from Social Security and Medicare payroll tax. The university incorrectly withheld FICA on his wages um, and the university was unable to refund the taxpayer. So the taxpayer is using this avenue to request a refund of $612 uh, that are withheld. And then you would attach the Form W-2 so they could see that um, you did in fact earn income from the university and you had taxes withheld from your paycheck. So, and that's it. I mean, the other things that are important, um, let me go back to the slide. You want, you need to attach a lot of documentation. So you're gonna have to attach a copy of your W-2, um, copy of your visa, the I-94. I and then you're also gonna have to get the employer to confirm uh, that, you know, they did withhold the taxes, but they can't refund you. Or if you can't even, if you can't get that letter, then you'll have to um, write out a narrative that explains what what steps you took to reach out to the employer first to try to get a refund, and then they weren't able to help you, or they just may, maybe didn't respond at all. Um, you need to let the IRS know that you know you went down that pathway first um, before reaching out to them via the A43. So uh, that covers it. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Thank you.